Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 and thank you for tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I own a 2019 Mustang GT and make Mustang related content, as well as general automotive content. If you share the same passion of cars like me, please subscribe for future videos. So, in this video, I wanted to discuss a little bit about Mach 1 and why I feel like it is set up for a failure due to this one major reason. Now, if you guys don't already know, Mach 1 was officially announced a couple weeks ago and Ford finally unveiled the details on the Mach 1 this past Tuesday. I do have a video on my channel where we take an in-depth look at all the features available for the Mach 1. I cover the exterior, power, suspension, and even the interior on it. You can ch check that video out by clicking the link in the description or the card above. I'm not going to cover all the details we covered in the previous video, but to sum it up and for this video to make sense, here's a summary on Mach 1. It gets 480 horsepower and 420 torque, borrows a lot of suspension bits from the Shelby GT350 and even some from Shelby GT500. It also ditches the MT82 transmission in favor of the Tremec manual transmission and can also be equipped with the 10 speed automatic. Lastly, there is an available Mach 1 handling package which beefs with the suspension and gives it a more aggressive stance. So, as you can see, it offers a lot more than your typical Mustang GT would, and without a doubt, it should be an amazing performer as Ford does claim it should be the best handling 5 0 Mustang ever built, and that is including the Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT. Now, if you guys already know, the Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT is pretty much the hardcore track machine available right now, without getting into the Shelby badge, that is. Matter of fact, it's actually a pretty good value compared to even the Shelby GT350 in terms of the numbers on the track and given the price point. It is commonly being referred to as the Baby GT350, which is not a bad compliment. So, Mach 1 pretty much aims to surpass the Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT and even give the Shelby GT350 run for its money. So even though the Ford hasn't officially announced the pricing, we can do some analysis on our end and can also conclude it will be between the Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT and the outgoing Shelby GT350. And pricing, including the dealer markup unfortunately, is exactly why I think Mach 1 is set up for a failure. So we do know Mach 1 will have the digital gauge and pretty much be fully loaded as expected, which would be the equivalent to 401A package on Mustang GTs. Which, by the way, you can check out my full review of 401A package by clicking the card above. Anyways, in order to get the fair comparison, I went up onto Ford's website and built a Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT with a 401A package. And as you can see, the MSRP on that thing is almost $50,000. 50000 for a Mustang? Wow. Um, and given the Mach 1 has the Tremec transmission standard and borrows parts from Shelby GT350, we can safely assume it will be obviously more than $50,000 MSRP. More like fifty-three to 55000 I want to say. Now I know you're probably thinking, who pays MSRP on a Mustang GT? And you are right. On average, without even trying to negotiate, you can easily get $5,000 off on your Mustang GT, depending on the rebates you qualify for and the dealer discount. So expect out... Mustang GT with the Performance Pack 2 and 401A package will probably set you $45,000 if not lower. You're probably wondering, well, you can get $5,000 off of Mach 1 and the difference is only $5,000, which can be justified due to a better car and some heritage. Unfortunately, dealers can and will be greedy. We've seen this with Shelby's and even Bullet Mustangs. Mind you, Mach 1 is historically preferred over the Bullet Mustang with the exception of the original of course, um, so dealer markup is inevitable for the Mach 1. We will most likely see these with dealer markups until the end of production year, which which is where they will probably start going for the MSRP, which is obviously still a eight to 10,000 gap compared to Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT with a 401A package. So even at MSRP, I think most people are going to pick up a 2019 or so GT350 with practically no miles on them. And even with some miles on them, like under 10,000, you can find deals in low 50s, which is an incredible deal in my opinion. Granted, it's new versus used debate, but since Shelby GT350 isn't available for 2021, a used 2019 or 2020 will do for comparison's sake. I think, and I think we will all agree that a Shelby is more special and will hold better value over time. I feel like the value proposition is just not there unless you're a true Mach 1 enthusiast, which nothing is wrong with that, and you'll be able to justify the price. Since Mach 1 does have an additional handling package, which I would imagine is still below Shelby GT350 in performance, and combine that with the fact that the Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT was not too far off from Shelby GT350 in performance numbers, we can kind of conclude that the base Mach 1 
without the handling package is going to be only marginally better than the Performance Pack 2 Mustang GT. Definitely not 10,000 more in performance. So guys, there you have it. Um, these are kind of my thoughts as I've been researching more and more on the Mach 1. I'm definitely excited to see the car, but I think pricing is just making me question everything and question the hype itself as well. As much as I want the Mach 1 to succeed, I just know the pricing and dealer markups will make it difficult to justify it. I hope Ford announces the pricing soon on the Mach 1 and maybe it will be very close to performance back to Mustang GT, who knows, but based on what we know I think it's safe to assume it will be at least three to 5000 more than that, which brings us to all the dealer markup and the justification of the value is not there in my opinion. Um, I, will guys, I will keep you guys posted once we find out more information on Mach 1. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.